Hockey. It is round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Game one on tap tonight. Really looking forward to this one tonight. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get out. Control of it at the point. Detroit's game possession. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And that's both. Slides the puck over to Byram. Now he slides it up to Tuck. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Into the offensive end now. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Here's a short pass. The puck after that hit. Slides in Capitri. Moves it on over to Comper. Muffs the shot attempt. Grabbed along the board by Benson. Puck grabbed by Cousins. Clifton stick handling in his own zone. Intercepted at center by Tarasenko. Buffalo's got the puck. Quick pass to Cousins. Feeds it over to Benson. Detroit's got the puck now. Dished on over to Fisher. Puck sent in deep, and they'll change things up on the back end. Tosses it on to Obey Kubel. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Makes his presence known on the ice. And he's knocked off the puck there. Gets the puck in deep. The Sabres have it against the wall. The Red Wings ready to go on the attack. the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. The Red Wings win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. his own end. Passes the puck over to McLeod. Excellent stick work on the play. Slides it up to Mott. Sends it in on the attack. Buffalo's got possession of the puck. Across the line and on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. The Red Wings have it now. Quick feed to Larkin. Poked away in the defensive end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Oh, and some smooth skating to lose the defender there. Scores! And that's his first goal of the 
postseason ever, and he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. for this period. It's all tied up. The Red Wings get a hold of the draw. Moves it quickly over to Gustafson. Big play inside the defensive zone. Pumped off the puck. The Red Wings have it in the offensive end. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. won the draw, and they'll look to set up. And he takes the feed. Denies him, he got all of it. Goaltender covers it up, we get a whistle to slow things down. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Detroit's got it in the offensive zone. And that caroms off a body in the lane. We'll get a face-off. Cousins wins the defensive zone face-off. Into the attacking area from the left side. And there's the save! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Puck is picked up here in the neutral ice by Petrie. Picked off by Paterka. He carries the puck up along the wing. Quick shot! How many bodies in the way? From one point man to another. Shuts him down. The Red Wings will play from the defensive zone. Oh, he'll feel that one. Turned aside with the club by Lukanen. win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. The Red Wings will play it from the corner. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Rocked him in the open ice. Buffalo's got a hold of the puck. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Quick pass to Debrinkit. Inside the offensive zone. That's turned away with the play by Lukanen. The Sabres gain possession. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Corners it! Stops him cold! Feeds the puck to Thompson. And he takes the dish. Moves it to Raymond. Fires it on net! Oh, what the buzzer! A big save! And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Period action.
Nation. Stick around. minutes played. The Sabres are going to need to find a way to stay connected and gain some speed through the neutral zone, James, because they're really not getting into the offensive zone with any speed at all. And guess what? That's why they're not getting any shots on net. They're lucky this game is still tied. time left in this period we got a tie game play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone oh what a glove save both teams are set they're ready to drop the puck Larkins won the draw here in the offensive zone Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. From one end of the blue line to the other. Gives up the body for the block. Tick toes around the poke check. Sends it in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Husso. The Sabres take possession here inside the offensive zone. And some textbook body contact there. And a good save on the play as action continues. Quick feed for Darlene. Lays out to get in front of that one. The Red Wings move the puck in the defensive zone. Detroit's got him along the wall. A quick save. And he hangs on to the puck. Nice zone entry from the middle. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Moves it over to Comfort. Can't maintain possession after that hit. That knocks him off the puck. The Red Wings have it now. Pass it up ahead. Buffalo's looking to break out of their own end. Oh, what a save in front. Quick pass to Benson. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. Takes the feed from the left side. Makes a move in front. Oh, he has a beat, but it goes off the inside post. That's uh, an unlucky bounce as the shooter is driving in and just sees an opening, but unable to convert as it goes off of the pipe and out. For point blank. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after all that chaos. Well, this is a much needed reset for his team after some sustained ozone pressure by the opponent. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Let's go! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, it's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They have a bunch of meetings. That's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Detroit's push here in the second is paying off as they now lead by one. Well, you can certainly see the energy shift in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push, keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. And that pass goes off a stick. Denies him! Broken up by Lafferty. And the puck's kicked free. Stopped by the goaltender. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Detroit's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. And they win the draw on their own end. Slides it across to Obey Cavell. Moves by the kick. Makes the save on the slapper.
Teams are ready for the draw. The Lions been about to drop the puck. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Pushes it across to Raymond. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. The Sabres play it along the way. The Red Wings have it from their own end. Moves the puck over to Debrinkit. And now it's grabbed by Yuki Haru. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Raymond. Takes the feed. And a good solid hit on that play. The Sabres gain possession along the wall. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Great use of the stick at center by Yuki Haru. Passes it over. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Greenway's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles and he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. There's a firm collision. Here's a short pass to Darlene. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. My goodness, this has been a pressure fit shift here. Looks to pass it to Gustafson. Can't keep a hold of it. Slides it diagonally to Thompson. And now he moves it quickly to top. The Red Wings have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Huge steal in his own end. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Tuck's close to finding a hole there and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had in the play dies. Quick pass to Bolano. Slides the puck over. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Lukanen. Past the midway mark of the frame. Detroit's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Comfers won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Detroit's got possession here in the offensive zone. Score! Detroit's on the attack. Close save, and he handles it with ease. The Red Wings came into this one with one thought on mind. Lots of pucks to the net, and they continue to lead here late in the second. Detroit's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Fisher's feeling that. Someone's going to the box. Here comes the official, suspicious. He's going to get the slashing call, and the officials are really trying to crack down on these types of plays because they can be dangerous. He's going to get the two minute liner. The Red Wings still have a chance to get to the power play for the first time this evening. First power play opportunity of the game. You know to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. And he slides it quickly to Cousins. And that's picked off. Keeps control of the puck after taking a little knock. Lights him up 
onto the boards. Moves the puck down low. The Red Wings looking against the half wall. Sends the pass over. Great save by the goaltender to get a pat on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. Dumps it in. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Works it across to Rasmussen. The Red Wings played along the boards. Cousins has it in the defensive end. From the neutral zone now. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Quick feed to Gustafson. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. A feed out front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. The Sabres kill off the penalty. Well, being on a power play is a privilege, James. Trust me, I know I was never on. Scores! Well, it's like the game slows down for him. He gets to position and he tracks the puck. You talk about goaltenders tracking it. How about him sitting there in the slot, eyes on it all the way, and now the timing to be able to redirect it into the net. Buffalo's goal late here in period number two has given them new life here late. They'll need to take that life and re-energize themselves, but it's been all about good habits, not getting frustrated at the score, finding a way to put it in. They just did it. Moves it quickly over to Quinn. Tuck's got it on the offensive end. Puts it on net. Great save by Husso. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. The Sabres look to start the transition game. Detroit's got the puck. Rocks it on the play. Tuck's got the puck in his own zone. Gives it right back. Great reach with the poke check by Petrie. Oh, great read on the play. There's the horn. Two periods down. A third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Quantity theory offensively tonight. They lead it and have been busier in the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Gustafson. Centering pass. Couldn't complete the pass. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Lots of time left in this period. The Red Wings have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Quick pass across to Tuck. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Buffalo's across the blue line. Here's a short pass to Thompson. And a great save! Oh, it stops again! I've never been a goaltender except in road hockey, James. But I tell you, if you take one off the mast, you gotta be rattling. But nonetheless, he finds a way to get the save. And that's what you gotta do. Put everything in front of it if you wanna make the stop. And the whole side is nervous. Look at this pressure here in the offensive end. And that's sacrificing the body in front. And there's a pass. Makes the save. And they skate it out of the danger zone. Kick pass to Raymond. Tremendous stop by Lukanen. Oh, 
Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. And they'll start with possession. Misfire, and it's wide. Well, they got the look that they wanted. He wanted that one-timer badly. James, unfortunately, was in his wheelhouse. Looks like he got squeezed, and he sent it wide. With possession along the wall. Dishes it off. The Red Wings have the puck now. He got all of that hit. Detroit's cutting it from the side. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Passed up ahead. Tarasenko is usually an impact player, and tonight he's been really quiet. You gotta expect that he's gonna find his game because he needs to if his team wants to win. This one's still close. They can still get it done, but he needs to be a difference maker. The Red Wings have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Red Wings carry it along the wall. Detroit's got possession of the puck. Lukanen's gonna hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Red Wings are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. And it's a quick pass to Obey Cabell. The Red Wings have it against the wall. Makes it. He scores! Chokes on the rebound and makes it count. a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. The Sabres get exactly what they were looking for. A tying goal, and look at this, where we are now in the third. They're back in this game, James. They shifted the momentum, but it's their urgency. They've been all over the puck. Their first few strides have been hard, and you can tell they want this one. Moves it to Darlene. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Lafferty. Just a fantastic save through traffic here, James, and this is why goaltenders practice all the time, tracking and with players net front. You gotta be able to find the puck at a moment's opportunity, and he finds it and makes the save. Buffalo's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Molenston. Buffalo's got the puck against the boards. Solid check to slow him down. Taken by Valeno. Jostled off the puck. Moves it quickly over to the score! A clutch goal gives them the lead! Well, it's very timely, isn't it, James? To give them the lead and also the confidence that they've shown these past few shifts led to that opportunity. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. The Sabres jump in front by a one-goal lead and a critical stage in this one, too, here, Cheryl. Well, yeah, if they want to close this game out, it's all about managing the clock and managing the puck on your stick. You want to make sure you take care of business, which means you got to own the puck and not turn it over in vulnerable spots. Here's a chance behind the net. And that puck leaves the zone. On the on the break away! there! Well, he's exuding a ton of confidence, not sitting back in his neck, challenges and make the save. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Cuts to the paint. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Wow, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Sometimes you have a conversation with the official just to give them the heads up that you're not happy. So setting the tone, setting an undercurrent because they've been more penalized. Something 
The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Larkin. And that's stolen by Thompson. Keeps it over. Oh, what a great save by Husso. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Cousins wins the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Nice hit on the play there. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Cousins gets set for the faceoff here as they will continue to play shorthanded. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Center bears down on that bottom hand, a clean win, and you can see them all setting up, looking to attack the net against this tired group. Cops got it against the boards. Slides it across. And that goes off a player in front. Lukanen's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been outstanding all game, James. The reason why his team is leading in this one, and Alex with a good decision to get the face off. Larkin's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Detroit's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And a penalty coming up here as the officials all over that as they saw him slow up. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead, now they're protecting it. Recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Red Wings win that offensive zone faceoff. And now he moves it quickly to Kane. Tarasenko's taking it from his own end. Quick pass to McLeod. Fires it! Stones him with the blocker! Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Detroit's looking to break out from the right side and up the middle. And that's deflected off someone in front. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by McLeod. The Red Wings gain possession. Across the line along the left wall. And that's poked away. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Detroit's power play can take advantage. And you know what? A real blown opportunity to seize the momentum in this one. Watching in high. Have jumped right back into this one and not a moment too soon in the third. Oh, we have ourselves a game here, don't we, James? And this is what everyone wants. They love these nail biters right to the finish. Cox moving the puck through his own zone. Into the offensive end now. Ducks it into the own zone. And he slides it quickly to Fairbrink. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Now a quick pass to Thompson. On the attack along the board. Here's a shot, and that's off target. We can certainly be disappointed with his finishing touch there, James, but a lot of good work put into the fight for position to get to that area in the first place. Here we go, on their rush here. And he had an answer with that save. Approaching the final 60 seconds of this one. Moves it to Quinn. Along the half wall with the puck. What a steal in his own end. Sends it over to Sider. 
Gains the zone through center. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Fantastic save! And it's a quick pass to Sider. That's loved by Lukanen. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Sabres win the draw here in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Byron. And here's a pass to Paterka. To the low slot. Scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. I always find it amazing at the end of the third period. Everyone is so urgent. I mean, why can't you just play like this for 60 minutes, right? But they find a way to convert on it, and this could wind up being the game winner. With that go-ahead goal in the third period, the win is within their reach, and the coach knows it behind the bench, and you can see him amped up, going up and down the bench, just trying to rally the troops to try and finish it off strong. Detroit's had more shots on goal, but yet they run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. The Red Wings win it. And the puck is scooped up here into the open ice by Petrie. The break, it's got it to the side. The Red Wings have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. And a smart heads up play with the bank. Towards the gaping net, and it goes wide. They score! Yeah, and this one will all but seal the deal, James. A real insurance marker and a game well fought and a win well earned. As that empty net goal went in, everyone on the bench and on the ice knew that that put the game to bed. After that empty netter should just simply need to let the clock run out now. Well, that one's going to seal the deal. And you look at the opponent, you can see their body language. They know it's all but over. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Here's a chance. Big save right at the end. A critical face-off looms here. And the extra attacker is on the ice, James. So much pressure on the center to win this draw. That's it, there's the final horn to close this one up. Well, that's how you want to kick off a playoff series, by taking that opening win and get that momentum on your side. Well, you know, heading into the series, this is the exact game that they've been talking about that they wanted to come out on top on. It's really important to dictate play right from the onset of a series. You really want to send the message that you're here, you're here to play, and you're here to stay. The playoffs are a war of attrition, and we know that they will continue, and we will see you then at the next broadcast. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Cebulski. We'll talk to you then.